Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new here, welcome. And if you guys haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button right there, right in the corner. And today I'm going to do another review and a reaction of RuPaul's Drag Race All Star 6 Episode 4. And you know each and every review, I pick a comment from last review and the comment that I chose was... Just want to point out, my girl Raja has been in the top every every episode so far. And yes, for TKB getting her win. I'm honestly so happy that um, TKB redeemed herself and that she is ready for the crown. Um, I'm excited to how this whole season is going to play out so far. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments of what you guys think about the season so far. And also, I wanted to introduce a new segment on my channel where I... Um, just pretty much have one of you guys, one of my subscribers will come on and we will do a video each and every week to talk about the last episode of Drag Race. So that just allows me to say thank you to you guys, to appreciate all of the comments, the thoughts, the opinions of the season, and just to incorporate you guys as much as I can on this channel because like I always say, without you guys, my channel would be nothing. And I just wanted to say just a big thank you and sending lots of love your way. So if you guys do wanna come on, I will pick one person to come on each and every week or the same person if no one else wants to get on each and every week to discuss um, the episode of Drag Race. So I thought that would be fun and interesting. And I'm gonna pick this lucky subscriber right here to come onto my channel with me to make a video. And we're going to talk about this episode right here, which is the latest one. Their fashion runways, the main challenges, the drama, the good things, the bad things, and everything in between, you guys. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Are you guys down? Do you guys wanna come on a video with me where we can discuss what happened in the last, in the last episode of whatever week it is but yeah you guys again thank you guys so much for all the love and the support and with that being said enough of me talking you guys let's dive into this reaction and review shout outs to laganja estranja you did that baby Here we go. Akira. Oh! Oh my god. Silky. Akira. Baby, she was about to go home. Silky. Oh shit, that was close. So, girl, let's dish the tea. Oh, I'm sorry. And I love you. I love you too from the bottom of my heart. Girl, apparently her tears weren't worth the save to some girls. The moment you start taking those things personal is the moment you put yourself back in the space of whooping your own ass. Do I agree with everything that's said? Work. <laughs> Ginger better step her pussy up. I don't want to see her go next. Y'all know I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girl. Speak it into the atmosphere, girl. Mine or Ginger's critiques necessarily warranted us to be lipstick eligible. <laughs> yeah, you were the bottom, Jan. <laughs> girl, Miss Jan is just not feeling the critique. Okay. I'm going to do Steven Tyler. Okay. Work, Miss Thing, for picking Steven Tyler. What? You don't know who Steven Tyler Girl, Miss TKB, girl, you should be, you tried it. You know, she did a real good Beyonce. I will always remember that. I mean, she did so good as she she's gonna knock it out of the ballpark with that. Oh, I can portray Lady Gaga like nobody's business. We have a very similar background. Jen, what can you not do, honey, according to you? Hopefully she redeems herself. Grimace <laughs> Ginger looks so crazy. <laughs> and I'm here for it. <laughs> Come on, Miss Ginger. Now, I'm not doing no shablam. I'm telling you that now, straight off the top. It ain't called a shablam, Miss Akira, girl. It's called a dip. Right. You guys, please don't call it a shablam anymore. Come on, Miss Ginger. 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 Come on,
Come on, Miss Akira. <laughs> Girl, she looked crazy. <laughs> girl, she's now she's the choreographer girl. Oh, did he say that's better than me? All right, Miss Thing. Girl, Miss Yara just came up there and, sh and basically took over, honey. Girl, Miss TKB is about to show up and show out, baby. <laughs> and three and four and five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'm impressed so far. <laughs> Miss TKB, girl, she's up there ready to show up and show out, darling. And I'm here for it. Is a complete nutcase. <laughs> Rehearsed for four months. Okay, but of course you're not Beyonce. I'm never calling you trade. Now, Miss Trinity, no, she not no damn no trade, girl. Make friends so that when times get rough, we will have each other to fall back on. Oh, I just love me some TKB, honey. I'm I've been rooting for her since day one. Along with my trans sisters. I said that I was in the bottom, but I don't think that I got bottom critiques. No, Jan, you said you were in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Jan don't even be knowing what she be saying, child. <laughs> no shade. This is the best I've seen Miss Trinity look, baby. I mean, Miss TKB, you look stunning. Come on, Miss Ginger. She a little stiff though. She looks like she's, you know, working on car parts. <laughs> it was all right. Eureka, look over. <laughs> Eureka is doing so good. Yes, bitch. <laughs> Come on, Miss Eureka. Bitch, she look like a good Diana Ross, baby. I'm here for it, girl. <laughs> yes, Miss Raja. <laughs> Over. Work, Miss Raja. Miss Yara look good, baby. She look good. She does a good Shakira. <laughs> oh, Miss Scarlet is too cute with this. And it's so Katie. I'm loving the peel off, too. Such a good look, Miss Scarlet. And she's doing so good. Come on, Miss Kylie. Giving you... All right, Miss Kylie channeling Steven Tyler. I'm feeling it. You got the scarves on the little microphone. Oh, I'm here for this. You better show up and show out, Kylie. <laughs> Not with the lips. <laughs> okay, with the heel. <laughs> Come on, Jan. Jan look good, though. No shade. Jan's doing good. That's right, Miss Jan. <laughs> She's showing up and showing out. That's right, Miss Jan. <laughs> Loved it, Miss Jan. Work. I carry you. The look is cute, though. I like the look. Please tell me you gave me an ass shot, too. No shade. Oh, there I go. <laughs> Such a good Carol Channing. <laughs> yes, Miss Pandora. So good. You look good. You're performing good. Okay, now, Miss TKB girl, you're showing up and showing out that entrance. See, this is how you perform. This is what you do. This is how you how you show up and you show out and you show the kids, girl, pass me my crown. Oh, TKB, you look fucking good. And you're performing down. Work. Honestly, they all did really, really good. If I would have to pick bottom two, it would have to be Ginger Minge and, oh my God, Ginger Minge and maybe Yara. Ginger, 
love this look love this look love this look love this look gone with the wind fabulous love it honestly eureka the reveal the little thing that you did that was cute and this look is actually kind of cute it's a cute look for you Raja, you look stunning. You know what? You look stunning. I love this look, but I wish the dress was cinched because your waist is smaller than that. I don't know why it looks bulky. But love the dress, though. Love the look. Yara, like this look, but where are the, where are the frills? Where's the ruffles, the frills? Where, where I don't see the... It's a gorgeous look, but I don't see how you executed that. Now, Miss Scarlet. I'm gonna need you to stop showing out on this runway like this. You look stunning. Kylie, you look stunning. You look stunning. It is a really, it's a lot of material and a lot of stuff going on. I don't really like it too, too much, but you look stunning. I like this look, Jen. Jen, I really do like this look. It's very Moulin Rouge-esque about it. And I'm feeling it. The makeup, the hair, the dress. I like it. You look gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, I like Pandora's look. It's it's really cute. Honestly, for Pandora to show up like this, work Miss Pandora. Now, you know Miss TKB is giving you Miss Continental realness. She is giving you Pass Me My Crown. She is saying she's going to win Best Gown in this competition. She looks stunning. Gorgeous. The color on her looks amazing. Oh, I like this look, Miss Akiria. I love this look, Miss Akiria. Work. You look gorgeous. That might have saved you from the bottom, too. I've made some decisions. Raj O'Hara, Scarlet Envy, Kylie, Sonique, Love, Pandora Box, you. Safe. Yeah. Yara and Ginger Minge, bottom, too. Winner. <laughs> she redeemed herself, you guys. She did it. Trinity. Eureka. Safe. You are safe. Yeah. Ginger Minch. You are safe. Oh. Dara Sophia. Oh. A curious C Davenport. Oh my goodness. But you are the bottom all stars. Wow, I didn't expect that one, you guys. I don't agree with that. I think Ginger should have been in the bottom with Yara. Head to toe always and always has an amazing yeah, Akira, it, uh, it's gonna be it's hard. It's gonna be hard to pick, honestly. But I have not seen that spark that we all saw and fell in love with on season eleven. I agree with that statement. Well, how do you feel? Pissed. Yes. Like I'm not a beggar, like I always say. It's not because that attitude is gonna make you go home though, girl. Yeah, she's not pleading her case. She's not playing this game right, baby. I mean, I didn't give my face. They love that from neck down. Yeah. And I totally agree. She basically is 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 telling everybody goodbye. Like, bitch, I want to be here so bad, like that's how you that's how you plead your case you know what I'm saying you want to be here don't act like you don't want to be here I'm going against my heart but my head is telling me that this will be the best decision for me to make for the long haul in this competition she has a strategy Jessica Wilde Damn, I didn't even realize she was still living, honey. All right, Miss Jessica. The time has come for you to lip sync for your legacy. All right, Miss Jessica. Well, I started off pretty good, baby. Oh, yes, Miss Jessica. <laughs> oh, Miss Jessica is trained in hairology, baby. <laughs> she is turning it. Yeah, Jan needs to do something else later. Come on, Miss Jan, step it up, because Miss Jessica is turning it out over there. Work, Miss Jessica. My vote will go to you, baby. Ladies, made my decision. 
Jessica Wilde. Ejaculation. Yeah. Winner, yeah. She definitely won that. Too bad she's going to send her best friend home, Miss Yara. Because <laughs> the girls definitely voted her out. The group has spoken, and the queen they have chosen to get the shop is. Yeah. Yeah. I was not done yet. Fuck you all. <laughs> I, I have everything. <laughs> She's so rude, girl. <laughs> Fuck you all. Oh my god. <laughs> Mucho escándalo. <laughs> oh, I like Jessica Wilde. I love it. No shade. The way Miss Yara came off, though, off that runway was kind of tacky, girl. That was not cute. That was not cute at all. Didn't feel that. No shade if Miss Rue doesn't call her back and say, girl, it's, it's a game within a game, I wouldn't feel bad. Don't eche palante just yet. It's not over. This season, there's a game within a game. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of my reaction and review of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 6 Episode 4. <sighs> what can I say? What can I say? So let's get into the main challenge. The main challenge to me who killed it was definitely Jan and Miss TKB. Technically, I preferred Miss TKB over Jan, but I will say, um, well, I'm going to get to that. So the main challenge is definitely TKB and Jan for sure, hands down, won that in the main challenge. The two bottom queens in the main challenge to me were um, were um, Ginger Minge and I would probably have to say Miss Yara Sophia. Miss Yara Sophia, like I said, it was just her facial expressions really kind of killed it for her. Now let's get into the runway category. To me, the worst in the runway category was Miss Yara Sophia because... You don't get me wrong, that ensemble and that look was really, really good, but I just felt like it didn't fit that category or what it was calling for. I felt like I needed more of something. And um, I don't know, it just, did, it just didn't gel with me. And the best runway look to me was hands down Miss Akira for sure, because I think it was just calling for what it was calling for and it did what needed to be done and she showed up and showed out for sure hands down um i love the everything about it from head to toe amazing drag excellence at its best so now let's get into the two bottom queens the two bottom queens were surprisingly it was akiria and miss yara where i would have switched akiria with ginger minge because i felt like I, I just felt like Akira did better in the main challenge than Yara and Ginger Minj did. And I think that her um, fashion runway look was a lot better than all of theirs. So um, I don't know. I just felt like that could have at least helped her in the point system or their thought process of who should be on the bottom two. But um, I guess they decided to go with Akira and um, yes, Yara Sophia to be in the bottom two. But I would have picked Miss Yara and Ginger. And now we're going to get into the winner of the challenge, to winner of the episode, which is um, Miss Jan, which is rightfully deserving so. I think that she turned it out. She showed up and showed out for the main challenge, which she definitely deserved. And she she looked good on the fashion runway. She I loved the look from head to toe. The colors, the color scheme, the um the theme of the the theme of the look, it was good. I loved it. Then we're gonna get into the secret assassin, which was um Jessica Wilde. And honestly, I totally forgot about Miss Jessica Wilde, but to see her come back and lip sync the way that she did amazing they ended up lip syncing and miss jessica wilde totally killed it when i tell you she definitely a plus in the classes of hairology 101 because the way she was tossing and turning that hair amazing perfect especially for that song too um I don't know what Jan was doing, honestly. I just, did, I, it was very robotic and very repetitive and just off a little bit as well. I don't know what she was doing. Didn't like it at all. But um, congratulations to Miss Jessica Wilde. And so Miss Jessica Wilde had to pick the um, queen to go home that all of the queens chose. So that ended up being Miss Yara Sophia. And honestly, 
I don't blame them for picking Miss Yara because the way she the way she was not fighting to be on that. I mean, I don't understand pleading. I don't understand saying how much you want something is begging. So that's just weird to me. And I think that was just her downfall because they would have probably chose Miss Akira if it wasn't for her not showing any enthusiasm to be to to still be on the show. It was ridiculous. And the way that she exited the show, it just like it rubbed it rubs me the wrong way and I don't know I just felt like she's not a mean person and she's not I like I like Yara it's just it was just tacky you know what I'm saying it was like oh girl you could have done better than that girl you had so many things to say throughout the season you could have picked a better one to exit off the stage you know but um let me know what you guys think of the main challenge who did the best to you who did the worst to you um who did you guys think had the best and worst runway looks and um were the bottom two queens right to you and did the right queen go home let me know all of that down in the comment section down below you guys give this video a thumbs up if you guys have been loving my content hit that subscribe button right there right in the corner make sure you hit this notification bell so you know exactly when i upload and like always you guys life is your vision it is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous until the next one you guys bye